Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Welcome to another episode of 10th Parallel Mobile Media. I'm Daniel Flores. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a special app that's available for Android users. The app developer is called Fitzinger Voice Design. The name of the app is called Field Recorder. The version that we're going to be demonstrating in this video is version 9.3. So we're gonna talk about who this app is for, who it's not for, uh, when you would use this app and when you wouldn't use this app. Then we'll get into the details of this app. We'll go through some of the menu items. We'll talk, uh, we'll talk more about what this app is capable of doing. I'm not going to go into every single function and every single setting on this app. That would take way too long to go through in this video. We're just going to summarize what this app is capable of doing. The reason why I'm here doing this video is because I really feel that this is a great app and has a huge benefit to people that would want to take advantage of it. I'm here to share what my experiences are with this app and how I use this app for myself and how I think you could benefit from it. I am in no way associated with the app developer. They have not paid me. I purchased this app on my own and I'm doing this review of my complete own accord to share it with you guys out there. Before I get started into going through this app and talking about this app, I do wanna let you know that the audio that you're listening to right now and through this entire video is being captured on this app, on my phone, with this microphone that's right in front of you. So let me talk about this setup so that you understand what I'm doing. The microphone that you see in front of you is an Audio-Technica AT8035 shotgun microphone. This is an XLR microphone that requires 48 volt phantom power. So I know the first question you ask, is how am I connecting it directly to my Galaxy S10 Plus phone with no additional audio interface. AT8035 is a dual power microphone. This is one of the reasons why I bought this microphone. I purchased this microphone all the way back in 2017, and I purchased it specifically to use with my iPhone. So not only can we power it through an XLR with 48 volt phantom power, but we can use a double A battery that we can put directly into the microphone and then the microphone will draw power from that internal battery. Using an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable and then a TRS to TRRS adapter, I can plug it directly into my phone and not have to have any other audio interface. Incredible capture with a great microphone plugged directly into my smartphone. The phone that we're going to be using to capture the audio is like I just said, it's the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, one of the last phones to still have a dedicated 3.5 millimeter audio jack and one of the reasons why I still have and use this phone. Of course, all the audio is being captured on this audio recorder and to show you that this is the microphone plugged into that, you can see that I have it so that you can see the interface. So I'm tapping on the microphone. You can see the dB uh, meters moving. So let's talk about who would benefit from an app like this and who wouldn't. If you are an experienced audio person, you have a complete understanding of audio, just like if you're a cinematographer and you understand what ISO means and what shutter speed or shutter degrees, white balance, LUTs, FPS, if you understand what all those things are, then you use a professional grade video recorder app, right? 24 FPS is a great cinematographer tool for video capture. This is a great audio interface for our smartphone. If you don't know what a WAV file is, an MP3 file is, you don't know what the difference is between 16-bit, 24-bit, and 32-bit float, then this app is not going to be for you. This app is also not going to be for those people that need to record multiple mics, more than two mics, and, and mix those audio sources. So this is not a mixer. So if you need to capture audio from three or more microphones or three or more audio sources and you need to mix that audio live while you're capturing it, this app is not going to accomplish that. You would still need a dedicated audio recorder mixer. Who this app is for are those people that fully understand how audio files work, want to capture a higher level of audio. You might not be aware that when you record audio directly with your video recorder, whether you're using 24 FPS, ProTake, Filmic Pro, 
it doesn't matter which uh, recorder you're using. Most likely that audio capture is going to be in a low grade audio file. If you know that, then you want to capture your audio separately off that video track and record higher quality audio. That's where this app is going to come into play. If you want the same type of control that you would get from dedicated audio recorders, this app is for you. If you want to capture a high level of audio, but you don't have the budget for a dedicated audio recorder, you don't have $300 or $500 or $800 sitting in your pocket to buy a dedicated audio recorder, this app is going to be for you. This app sent me back $4.99 US dollars. That's very cheap for a dedicated audio recorder. Now, the last thing I will tell you is that every Android phone is different. The hardware in every Android phone is different. The ability to attach microphones to your Android phone is going to be different based on what type of Android phone you have, what version of Google you have, and what the manufacturer limits those third-party app developers. You know, manufacturers don't give full blank access to third-party app developers. Many manufacturers restrict access to hardware from third-party app developers. Even Apple does that. So I can't promise or guarantee that every feature or every function or every microphone that you try and connect to your phone is going to work for you. Where I find this app really comes into play and where it really gives me a huge benefit, where I'm on a run and gun, I'm trying to stay as light as possible, and I don't want to carry with me an additional recorder. I don't want to carry a big bulky field recorder to be able to capture my audio. In those circumstances, my Android phone that's right in my pocket is going to do the same job. Huge benefits that I found from this app is not only can I record audio directly to this app, but I can also use the same phone to capture my video. Once I set up my audio, I connect my microphone to the Samsung S10 Plus and I set up and start recording my audio. I can then switch over to my favorite video recorder app, start filming and record my video on the same device. Now I can't say that that's going to work for you on your Android phone, but it definitely worked for me on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which is a huge benefit because now I don't need two phones, one to capture my audio file and one to capture my video. I can do it on the same phone. Like I said earlier, this is a very professional, high-level app, just like 24 FPS is to cinematography. So this is going to give us a huge amount of control over our audio file. We can change and set so many different features. This is going to function and work just like a high-end, dedicated audio recorder is going to work. So we're going to have way more access than any other recorder app currently available. We have complete control over our entire audio audio recording experience. There are two huge things that I absolutely enjoy about this app. The first one is this app gives me more control over the app itself than I've ever seen on any Android app. So I can completely customize and configure this app to work how I want it to work and then save those settings. So every button press, the color orientation and everything about this app allows me to go in there and customize it and personalize it to my particular use. This is a huge benefit to me because now I can set this app to behave the way I want it to behave, not how the app developer wants it to behave. One of the best features I've ever seen. So we can go in there and tell this app how we want it to behave in addition to being able to control just about every aspect of audio capture that we want. Now, of course, you can capture audio from the internal microphones built into your Android phone. I wouldn't recommend you do that, but in a tight pinch, if you needed to start recording audio immediately and you had to use the internal microphones, of course you can do that, but you can also plug in microphones. The one thing that I will tell you is that when you plug in an external microphone, you want to make sure that the little icon on the app shows a picture of a microphone. If it only shows a picture of a headphone, then you're not going to be able to record audio from that plugged in mic. So you want to make sure that you're getting a pictogram of a microphone, and then that's going to let you know that you're going to be able to capture audio from that plugged in mic. 
Uh, the next feature that I absolutely love about this microphone is that the app developer has created a community of people that use this app. So you have cloud service available. So on the cloud service, you can register with the cloud service and not only upload and share your own settings and information about this app, but other people that have shared their settings and information on this app is gonna be available to you. So it's a great community of users that can share information. So to summarize all this up, if you are looking to capture a higher level of audio and you have an Android phone, but you don't wanna spend the money on a dedicated audio field recorder mixer, or you don't wanna carry that recorder in your pocket, this app is gonna be a great way to go. And I love the fact that I can record my audio on this app and then switch over to my video recorder and start filming on the same phone. I don't have to have two individual pieces of equipment. That really makes uh, run and gun and shooting on the fly a huge benefit to me. You can set up any type of microphone system that you want with this from wireless system. So if you don't want to hardwire a, a microphone into this system, you can set up a wireless system on there and then uh, record your audio from wireless microphone systems. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you come away from this video learning something new. Stay awesome, stay safe, stay healthy. But most of all, don't let the world get you down, guys. I'm Daniel. I will see you next video. Peace out.